Because it goes all the way, like, way oh over here. God. Oh my god. <laughs> Crazy. Storage units in the United States of America is a multi-billion dollar industry. And with this many people out there renting these units on a monthly basis, chances are there's gonna be some people that just don't make their payments for whatever reason. And legally, if you make it a certain amount of time without making your payments, these storage unit facilities can auction off your unit and its contents on the internet to complete strangers like me. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen or at least heard about the TV show called Storage Wars. And essentially it's these people that would go to these storage auctions in real life and bid against each other in hopes that they could win the unit and find some extremely profitable items hidden inside. But what makes these auctions so interesting is that both in the in-person auction and online, you're not allowed to go in the unit or touch anything. They just open up the door and then you can just stand there and look at whatever you can see, but you can't move any boxes or open anything. So it's kind of like a big fat mystery box and that makes it really exciting. And I've always been so fascinated with these storage units because I watched the TV show growing up. I've watched people on YouTube do it like Grimes Finds, What the Hales, Treasure Hunting with Jeebus, Robert Turkle, and these people can find some super valuable items, some super weird items, guns, drugs, I mean, all sorts of stuff. So we were very excited to get in to today's video. $870 for this storage unit. It's not jam packed, but as you can see, there's some very good stuff in it. The Yeti cooler, that's probably like a $300 cooler. So $870, there were some taxes and fees involved, but we are so excited to get in here, get this stuff pulled out, see what's in all the boxes, get it loaded up in the U-Haul, take it home and hopefully flip it for some profit. So when the facility manager walked us over here to pop the lock off this unit, she did say that the previous owner is very interested in getting his stuff back. So that tells us that there's probably some good stuff in here. And I will say that if we find personal stuff, like right on top right here, Haley just found somebody's like college or high school diploma or something, yeah, college diploma. I don't want to put his name in. I don't want to put her name in there, but uh, you know, stuff like that. We'll just give it back to the facility manager and she can return it. So I am so excited. One, to see if there's anything in this Yeti cooler and make sure it's in good shape, but we've got these two Nike boxes yeah, can we right please here. Come yes. In and open these? Haley. This was one of the first things. We saw the Yeti cooler in the pictures and we saw these, and I was like, yeah. I need to know what kind of shoes. We got to check it out. We got to check okay, it out. Okay, so these are Superga. S Superga. Okay, those are brand new. Um, brand new attacks. I don't yeah. know that brand. But I've heard of that brand. It's, cool. uh, I think dealing with Dalton sells it for like a thirty dollars right. shoe. Nikes. Uh, no Nikes. No Nikes. We got some oh, Adidas. Man. Oh well. Adidas and some slippers. And some, yeah. Okay, well, there's oh, another well. Fila shoe box down there, and yeah. there's a ton of sealed boxes in here. Everything yes. looks like it was packed up really well. Uh, so that's a really good sign. There's probably some good stuff in here. Do you want to open the Fila shoe box? Maybe there's some Jordans in there. No. Some Converse. Sperry's. Dirty Converse's and soda. Soda, great. <laughs> okay, nothing there. In front, we'll re all the boxes yeah, we'll reorganize everything later on. Over here, we got some tools and stuff, a bunch of cobalt levels. These are probably pretty expensive, maybe like 20 bucks a piece on those. We got this really nice aluminum frame ladder. We were actually in the market to buy a ladder for personal use, and these ladders are probably what, like 150 bucks or so minimum? Yeah. So that's personal there's use ladder right there off the top. There. Yeah, there's that one's a nice. That's like one of the there's three. There's a yellow one in the back back there. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's probably three or four hundred dollars just in ladders. Absolutely. And this chair, it looks like it's got some scratches from like a dogs, cat, probably because a cat tree. Yeah, probably cats. Dang, but that's like it feels like real leather. Can I open this? I want to see if yeah. anything's in it. How do you do these? You just pop these off. Nothing mm -hmm. in it, but Nothing it's in really good condition. Really good shit. This is the Tundra Tundra 45. Yeah. I want to say this is like 250 to $300 cooler right there off the top. There is a Squishmallow, Squishmallow avocado in there. This, I bet this is like somebody's like college apartment. Could be. That they packed up. We'll keep bringing some stuff over here and show you. So far, it's just some basic shoes. I mean, you can see that on camera. Some just like college workbooks or something. Nothing of any crazy amounts of value yet. This with the diploma, a little cap, water bottles, just some little army teddy bear. See anything in there? I just found a box of watches. Um, I don't know anything about watches and I haven't really looked at them. Um, Gino Milano. And then Skagen, Skagen, I think that's a Skag. Skagen. That one is. That's a Seiko. Seiko's good. Seiko's great. Is that a Seiko watch? That's a Seiko really? watch. Yeah. When we saw the Yeti cooler in the online ad for this unit, which is, we did not see this unit in person before we bought it. It was all online. 
my immediate thought was like, okay, everything appears to be boxed up really well. We've got some pictures or something over here. They got the Yeti cooler. If they're willing to spend $300 on a cooler, what else are they willing to spend a lot of money on? So, so far I've not been disappointed and we are just barely <laughs> scratching the surface. I just picked up this thing of clothes to go through later on and I see an HP, this looks like an HP all-in-one computer. Wow. I think, I think that's what it is. Haley, I think we should get a cat now. I'm really excited to put this on the truck. <laughs> Very oh, much so. Poor cat. This, I bet, as a, if I was a cat, this would be really fun. The bad part about buying a storage unit like this is that you only have one day, for us at least, we drove two hours to get here. So we have to get all this stuff cleared, cleared out today and we can't use the dumpster on the premises. So even stuff like this cat tree that, I mean, it's not in bad shape. We might can throw it up on Facebook or something, but it takes up a ton of space. Yeah. Oh gosh. We're gonna get some stuff moved out. I'll get back to you guys in just a second. What is this? I was looking at that, what is that? front gate one it's a wine corker wow wine corker that's that's that is really cool front gate that's got to be worth something absolutely so i moved some of these boxes that were right here and i got a glimpse of what's behind it and i don't know if y'all can see but it's one of those like rolling utility carts with like all the drill bits and like all that kind of stuff that's crazy i was just showing y'all about the utility cart thing it's a snap on. It's a snap on. And it's huge. Look at this vice. Look at that vice. Oh that's a huge goodness. vice. Oh my gosh, dude. That's like, that's probably an $80 vice. That's probably a $1,000 snap on tool, tool chest. I actually think this thing is worth a lot more than a thousand bucks. It's tough to find sold comps on eBay because people generally don't sell stuff like this on eBay, but there's one that's like half the size of ours that sold for $2,500 local pickup. So I think this thing is probably worth closer to three or $4,000. Because it goes all the way, like way oh over here. God. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is crazy. Holy crap. Wow. This is, oh man. So we have a lot of boxes in here that are sealed. Like this one is, is packed super well. I have no idea what it is. It doesn't look the right size to be a TV, but we don't have a ton of time. So we're everything that's still sealed in the box, we're just gonna put on the truck. Yeah. And then we'll open oh, it later yeah. on in the video once we get home. All right, we're making, making our way back here. We've got the snap-on case completely unearthed, but it is locked. But that's a good sign. Oh, wait, no, it's not. There's a bunch of rat nests in there, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, gross. What's that? I don't know. Blue point. It's like drivers, craftsmen, Peyton. You just have to push the things on the side. Impact oh, wrench. Oh, impact yeah. drivers. Yeah. So we'll. Yeah, they're not locked. Snap on, USA. How are we going to get this on the truck? <laughs> that is a really good question. We don't have a ramp, do we? We, we have a walking ramp. I think it'll fit up here. There's a little ledge we'll have to deal with. I was hoping, good thing we got the bigger truck. <laughs> we almost got the small truck. It's just, it's so hard to determine from the pictures like how deep the unit is and like what big bulky items. And we got at least one love seat type thing right here. Got the big snap on thing. There's an air compressor back there. There's also this, got a, well, I just saw this, look at this. JBL, the speaker. Yeah. We got this speaker out, the JBL Eon 612. It's, it looks like it's been opened before, but I do wanna go ahead and open this box just to see if it's actually in there. Or maybe they just filled the box with a bunch of junk. Oh. Haley? Yes. Looks like they filled filled the box with a bunch of junk. I don't know what war tapes are. Shannon's welcome home party. There's a keyboard. Okay, we're just gonna leave all of that in here yeah. for now. Maybe the speaker's we'll still in there somewhere. We just grabbed these two, I guess a framing nailer and a finish nailer, pass load. Never heard of this brand before. I'm not sure it's actually in here. Oh yeah, that, that looks expensive for sure. Guys, this is, this is crazy. Haley is working very hard. Yeah. Very hard. What's I'm in trying there? to get everything off of this thing so we can roll this in here. Yeah. That's gonna definitely be need to put that in first. Piece. Let's see. Have you looked at this? Uh, yeah. There's some boots. It's brand new safety work boots, safety suit, some gloves. So we just pulled out this tool set. It's a craftsman, but when I looked inside, it does have mostly snap-on tools oh, no. in there. I don't know what. 
I mean, I know Snap-on's good. I don't know exactly what it's worth, but I know they're expensive. Look at that knife. That's cool. Sharp. It's like a buck knife. Stainless Japan. Stainless Japan. That's crazy. Interesting back there. I see a tile saw. Yeah, it's a pressure washer. I think there's another, there's a backpack blower back there. Husqvarna. Ooh. Let's see. All sorts of tools. Yeah, there, there's the backpack blower. What's that? This is like a compressor of some sort. Yeah, it's an air compressor. Air compressor. Man, there's so much. It's <laughs> so much stuff. Yeah, it is. And this is like a huge table right here. Yeah, it's like a workbench or something. Yeah. So we've run into a slight hiccup here, and that's the fact that this thing is extremely heavy yeah and we just physically cannot lift it up the ramp ramp i did open this drawer and there's a full set of snap-on wrenches in here and just try to sell the oh my gosh more snap-on oh my gosh. this this is there, i mean there's got to be at least a thousand dollars worth of tools in there yeah so we did have to get the guy down here that they're loading up their storage unit he did come and help us load the snap-on thing up into the thing it was he really just showed us how to work the ramp <laughs> i didn't realize you could put the ramp up that far so we got that loaded he told us these nail guns are very good he said they were the snap-on of nail guns so that's a that's a good good find we are just a little overwhelmed but we're making some really nice progress just took a box down back here and we've got a dewalt like a like a power saw or something maybe like a tile saw in there we got the roby table saw we've got some more tools we got a some kind of sink or something we just found a Kohler toilet new in the box or something else back there some leaf blower something some Bosch tools all these tools this is crazy we just found a locked safe we do have the keys for it I think can I do the honors? I'll let, I'll let you do the honors let's okay, see there's what's two in different here. keys do they both like work or okay. oh, wait wait <laughs> wait wait don't move the light just turned off Come on, light. Okay, wait. Okay, here we go. Oh. This is why they want the safe back. It's birth, a birth certificate. Birth certificate. Yeah, this is like personal records. But nothing of any value for us. Nothing of any value. Booking confirmation for, for the Caribbean? Caribbean? Somebody's going to the Caribbean. Oh, we need to give this. We need what to is give it? this to them. Look, there's like cards. Oh, debit cards and stuff. Yeah names we'll give it we'll give it back to him we found a college diploma in here earlier so we gave that back to the management facility because we, we don't need that so this box will probably just give it back to them as well um just because there's no value in it for us so we're getting down to the nitty-gritty got this one box left here we there was a box of food and i dropped it and yes. like this is like worcestershire sauce <laughs> or something and it smells terrible like but, why would you put a whole box of food yeah, in a not climate controlled area dos doscasil what is doscasil yeah it might get closer because uh-oh Ooh, what is that there's bullets looks like 45. no gun though but there's there's a clip hmm there's a clip in here looks old wow that's old and it's loaded so we have bullets and we have a magazine. What if there's a gun in here somewhere? I feel like it'd be in that I feel container. like it would too, yeah. But that's cool. So it's been two days, I believe. We brought the U-Haul truck back to the house. We got everything unloaded underneath the, uh, the lean-to here. These are all the boxes we haven't opened yet. We're going to go through all those and see what's inside. These are most of the tools um, that we pulled out of the unit. This DeWalt chop, that's a mitering chop saw. Retail on this is $650. So in used condition, probably worth like 300 bucks, three to $400, I think. Um, bunch of other stuff, this Craftsman toolbox. This one, I don't know if we showed you or not, but it has snap-on screwdrivers in there. So that's pretty good. We did have our handyman, Dean, come over yesterday. You guys might recognize him from a previous video, but he has a pile of stuff over here that he's gonna take in trade for finishing some stairs leading up to our unfinished room over the garage. So we're got a little trade deal going on with him, but we we're very excited to get in these boxes over here and see what we're missing out on. Haley, would you like to do the honors and open up the first box? There we go. I put the knife down. Okay, we have paper. Yeah, I mean, that's cute. It's cool. 
I've been at, at Hobby Lobby, that would be like 50 bucks probably. probably. Okay, this one says not full. Not full. <laughs> Nothing real exciting in here. Just some lamps. Lamp Ooh, and a volleyball. And a volleyball. Franklin. Here you go, Moes. Next up, we got this box. Your turn. Right here. This is like. This one is here. like two boxes in one. I'm very intrigued in what's in there. Oh, Sorrel. Sorrel. Sorrel, look at that. Oh, nice. There's the other one. Wait, no, there's two. Oh, no, that's that liner. Those are probably like $80 yeah. Sorrel boots right there. Awesome. That big bowl. Pottery Barn Bowl, $99 retail. Wow. Together with friends and family is always the happiest place to be. I'm sure we can sell that. Pottery yeah. Barn people love their Pottery Barn stuff, right? Any barn heads in the chat? <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah. It looks handmade. It's not signed. Yeah. But that's nice. And then two lampshades. Ooh, I wonder if it's the lampshades for our lamps over there. Could be. I'm the one trying to stay organized over here. If organization is even possible with all of this stuff that we have. But Josh is the type of person to just throw it in the corner and Listen, get to it later. Moe's can clean all this stuff up later. There's a sealed Monopoly. <gasps> wow, cool. Golden ticket bone. I mean, it's still factory sealed. Yeah. I don't think there's anything in here of any value. This one says kitchen fragile and it's coffee and mugs. So I think I know what's in it. Come on, Starbucks mugs. Pretty nicely wrapped. We've got, ooh, Christmas. I think these are all Christmas mugs. All of them. Tis the season, I guess. Tis the season. This is more Christmas stuff. I'm gonna lose it. Oh, this Ooh, is... that's a pretty blue and white thing. What is it? Wow, that's gorgeous. That is really pretty. I see another Sorel box. I'm sorry, I'm taking over your box. My box. Get out of here. Look at this Sorel. Oh wait, let's work. Oh, that's heavy in there. What is it? What is it? Oh my goodness. Coasters. Coasters. They really cared about their stuff. I mean. Taking the time to wrap off these coasters in that whole big sheet. And then finally, Sorel. Let's see. Okay. Nice. They're in there. That's another pair. They're not new. Yeah, they need but, some cleaning. I mean, they're in good shape. It looks like they just warm Christmas Day or something. This one office says office. miscellaneous. Where's the knife? Um, I, I put it down somewhere. So let's see. I'll cut myself because I'm too excited. Be careful. What do Oops. we have? Lots of stuff. No wonder this one's so heavy. Is this a Vera? Vera Bradley. Yep. With tags. New with tags. Not, I think this is moldy. Probably. Charlotte Hornets. Oh, this is cool. This is a Kate Spade, but it's Look at this. disgusting. It's a signed basketball from the Charlotte Hornets. Oh my goodness. Who's, whose signature is that? I did some research and found out that this signature was from Cody Zeller. I've never actually heard of him before, but apparently he was a first round NBA draft pick back in 2013. Unfortunately, I don't think this ball is worth a ton of money, but super cool to find it. Okay. Looks, Looks like, like more Hobby Lobby furniture. Not furniture, you know what I mean. <laughs> My Hobby Lobby stuff. Hey, I can redecorate our house. Yeah, Hobby Lobby's got some good stuff. Oh, oh, look, I think it's, it's the, the same, one. same look, one. Right yeah. there. That, I mean, that, these are probably like 50 bucks a piece. We can I'll probably be. sell them on Facebook Marketplace, like yeah, local that's pickup. Simple. That's easy, Facebook Marketplace. Yes. Do we have a little basket? That's very cute. A little coffee table basket. Very cute basket. So we've got two of these big boxes like this. I imagine it's probably like a matching set of art, if I had to guess. It's not too heavy. I mean, maybe like, I don't know, 25 pounds. But for a big box like this, I'm very curious to see. What's inside? It's actually a Not bunch of art. <gasps> wow. A bunch. Well, this one's already that broken. That one's broken. What is it? It's real, but he it's painted. Um, bad mirror. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Well, that's cute. Oh, yeah. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Room is 831. That's Hobby cool. Lobby? Yes. Getting sun. Oh, yeah. This is 60 bucks. His and her studio. That's very cute. Do you want to continue with the art? I can open this one. Uh, yeah. I will Man, say, we got all these boxes over here. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that is cool. 
all that like we've been buying art like this for our house yeah and it's, it's expensive very like that expensive. even at, even at like home goods that would be like probably 70 or 80 bucks i also might keep this yeah i like it tj maxx it was 40 dollars. 40 bucks at tj maxx yeah well, i like in it in the it's like printed it's like printed on cloth and then framed yeah let me that's turn really it. cool let me turn it this way so you get the full effect yeah i like it if we had, we should have an antique booth. Like so much of this stuff would be great to sell at the antique booth. Absolutely. Maybe we should, maybe we should get an antique booth. I did find this the other day. I didn't think I got it on camera, but it was in a box of stuff we left in the unit. Um, but I grabbed this out of it. It's like, I don't know, Murano? Is that what people call this stuff? I don't think it's actually Murano, but in the style. Like I just thought it was really pretty. And there's like Josh's a, body armor in there. Oh, and a GoPro battery. Don't Good forget that. Can <laughs> you film that? Pretty cool. It's really pretty. It might not be, but it might be. Might be. Uh, we have a and... Project 62, so Target. Target. Huh. Not terrible. Not terrible. Oh, wow. It's a mirror. That's from Hunter Bucks at Steinmark. Wow. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Map of North and South, South Carolina. Oh, yeah. Mm, no, production date 2020. 2020. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> While she's doing that, I did find this in one of the toolboxes. It looks like an old Joe Camel, like camel, I mean, counter, um, counter sitting thing, but I have no idea what that is. If you guys know, let me know. Two iPhones. Two iPhones. Old ones. <laughs> that literally looks like the original iPhone. Those are very, very old. We have a Gerber. Oh, that's good. Gerber multi tool. Multi -tool. I mean, not good. It's probably like 20 bucks, 20, 30 bucks or so. This was that box of watches that we showed you guys the other day. I did um, look at them once we got everything back. This is the Seiko. And it looks like it's maybe broken or something. I don't know. Like one of the bands come off. But Seiko should sell maybe like 60 bucks, 60 to 80 bucks on that one. I looked at these other ones. These are Skagen, Skagen or whatever. Um, used, it looks like these are going on eBay for like thirty to forty dollars. So we got that one. That's really cool. We've got this Skagen, so that's like maybe one hundred and fifty bucks total. There's this one, which is Gino Meluno, Gino Meluno, something. I didn't look up this one. It doesn't really feel great, so I doubt that's worth a ton of money. And then this one looked really interesting. It was ah, what was the name? Lucian Picard. Lucian Picard looks really fancy. I think it's probably worth like fifty bucks or so in this condition so not too bad probably like 200 and 220 dollars or so in watches maybe say 200 bucks conservatively so not too, not too bad um, oh these are like what edible, i thought it was gonna be these are edible cupcake donations yeah donations, donations. De decorations i had donations on the mind because all this junk is getting donated what is this hmm. looks like the lid or something yeah, like that other thing Oh, these feel nice. These are like thick copper, hammered copper pots. Raffoni. Raffoni, ha hammer, hand hammered in Italy. Raffoni. Raffoni copper cookware. Hand hammered. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. I see a pre owned one listed for $130 plus shipping. I believe it. I mean, this let's feels see. like very high end, very it's heavy. It's hard to do my phone and hold the GoPro at the same time. 63 listed. 93 sold. That's a good sign. Um, let's this has see. a price tag on the lid of $199. Oh my goodness. There's this um, Raffoni Historia hammered pot with acorn handle for $222 plus shipping. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds right. Oh my goodness. That's huge. In a kitchen, we almost just, what if we just threw that box away? I know. Oh my like, oh, it's just junk. Ooh, hangers. Hangers. <laughs> oh, Sorel. <gasps> More Sorel boots. More Sorel boots. <gasps> Those are cool. Those are cool. Wow. They're in great shape, too. Nice. Um, massage roller. I'm too excited. All right. Oh, a coat of some sort. Weave of the Irish handcrafted in Ireland. It is 100% wool. Wow. It's Ralph Lauren. Ooh. It's, uh, nice. it's like a blue tag, 100% wool. Got a life jacket. A couple of life jackets. New attack. Yeah. Three, four. Four life jackets. Four life jackets. All new nice. tags. 
It's a little Santa. With skinny legs. Skinny leg Santa. It looks like, let's see, Lori Mitchell. Oh, it's Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Claus. And it feels, it's kind of heavy. Yeah. We can Again, look them up. It's that probably Lori something. C. Mitchell. E-S-G. Or E-S-C. We got the whole trash can full of these Verizon phones. Model T42S. Yeah, Link. Or something. I don't know if those are in. There's probably like 10 of them in there. Hopefully they're worth thousand dollars each this cool table that that turns like that is that neat too yeah cute. very so fast forward about two weeks or so as you can see behind me the pile of stuff has shrunk fairly significantly we've made several trips to the dump several trips to a local thrift store to donate some items we didn't want to deal with but more importantly we've also sold a lot of this stuff already so here's a list of everything that is already sold out of that storage unit and these prices are our net profits after fees and shipping so you see right here wrench sets Haley went through the snap-on tool case and we got four different lots of wrenches we just lotted them up by similar sizes and styles and all four of them sold within 24 hours one this one's the most expensive sold for 299 you know after fees 259 and this one sold for like 90 bucks or so plus shipping so really great money in those snap-on wrenches the two copper pots that we found like the italian hammered pots one of them sold we listed one and it sold for like 135 dollars plus shipping and i reached out to the buyer because we hadn't listed the second one yet and i was like hey i haven't shipped this yet but i have another one i'm about to get cleaned and listed are you interested he said yes so i sent him a picture he said he wanted it so i did a private listing of like 139 dollars free shipping or so since we could come on shipping and he bought that one as well so we made like 200 almost 230 dollars just on those two copper pots that was crazy we sold the yeti cooler obviously that was a fast mover we sold that for 220 bucks after fees that was 196.57 we had some local sales this guy came over for the ladder and then while he was here i sold him like two or three other tools he was looking for like a hammer drill and you know the small stuff like that so he was all in 180 bucks for those things and then we sold a couple of these smaller items from the unit over on whatnot we sold like two or three boxes of clothing like we had a bunch of like like mall brand clothing like american eagle hollister forever 21 things like that so we just made a big box and, and sold that on whatnot so we made about 100 bucks selling that small stuff on whatnot all together after everything is said and done after fees and shipping we're looking at a total net profit so far of thirteen hundred fifty nine dollars and seventy seven cents obviously this doesn't count this doesn't include the money that we spent on the unit this is what our total net revenue was but we still have to take out our original costs so 1359 77 in net revenue so far we paid 870 dollars for the actual unit we lost our hundred dollar cleaning deposit because i just thought that was worth it to lose to save us all the extra work i don't think i explained that in the video but basically we had to pay the storage unit facility a hundred bucks as a cleaning deposit and if we did not clean out the unit in its entirety we lost that deposit but as we kept going we realized that there was just a lot of trash that we just didn't want to deal with so i just felt it was worth it to lose our hundred dollar deposit and have them deal with the trash we paid 130 dollars on top of the 870 for like auction fees like basically a fee to the website for buying the unit and then the u-haul truck we rented with gas and everything like that was a total of 275 dollars leaving us still in the hole 15 dollars and 23 cents so that's how far away we are from our break-even point but we still have a ton of stuff left to sell from the unit just to give you an idea of some stuff we have left over that we still haven't sold we got these two pass load nail guns that's probably at least 200 bucks you know together 100 bucks a piece on those we've got a ton of this art left like wall hanging stuff this mirror we've got all these like paintings and stuff over here this big mirror those two like lanterns i'm not sure i mean I'm, we're definitely not going to sell it on ebay or whatnot i'm not going to ship this stuff we may may take it to a flea market booth and try to sell it there we've got this really old basket like handmade basket i'm sure that's worth a decent amount of money but again i'm not going to ship anything like that obviously we still have the snap-on tool chest which was our best find in the unit by far this exact model i'm pretty sure retails for about eighty five hundred dollars brand new obviously this is not brand new so we're not going to get eighty five hundred dollars for it but once we get it emptied out and cleaned up i am going to list it on facebook marketplace maybe craigslist and i really think we're, we we can get between three and four thousand dollars for it i mean it's in great shape other than being a little dirty the wheels work all the drawers you know work and, and come out and everything like that i think we still have a couple all this is snap on in here too snap on ratchet sets i mean we probably have another all the oh, those are craftsmen i mean we probably have another three to four hundred dollars just in 
tools in here that we haven't taken out and listed on eBay yet. It is gonna take a while to get all this cleaned and separated and listed and sold, but I think once everything is said and done, we should walk away with at least $4,000 for the tools and tool chest. This again was definitely the craziest thing we found in that unit. We haven't sold any of these watches yet. And it said that was like 200 bucks or so in watches. This is that like Irish wool jacket that we found. That's probably an easy 50 bucks or so. We got a whole box of like more mall brand clothes here. We got this computer we haven't sold. We've got some shoes, a washer toss game. We haven't sold any of the Sorel boots yet. We haven't listed those. We got this basketball that was really cool i mean just a ton of stuff and that's just the stuff we brought inside because out here as you saw a couple minutes ago we still have all this stuff as well i really don't want to end today's video by not being profitable yet so i'm going to do a quick whatnot auction just running this charlotte hornets basketball we did find a receipt in the bag with this that the original person paid like 100 bucks for it so i'm hoping we can make at least 15 dollars 23 on this thing after fees to put us into the profit on this storage unit so let's see here hello everyone you are on youtube right now so what we're doing uh i have one item it's a little like spalding basketball but it's signed by cody zeller is that his name cody or Corey zeller he's uh number 40 uh for the charlotte hornet we're gonna just run this one dollar 30 seconds spencer luck lukey luke spencer how do you say your name it's luke i think it's luke spencer bought it for 35 Spencer, payment succeeded. You're good to go. Thank you so much. All right, so quick 35 bucks on the signed basketball. I feel like that's a pretty pretty good price. Obviously, I can't find sold comps on this exact ball, but the ball itself was $30. So I'm sure the signature adds at least $5 in value, and that sale puts us into the profit. So after fees and shipping and everything, we made $30.66. So negative 15 at 23 plus $30.66 leaves us with a new total net profit of $15.43, I think, if I did the math right. So on top of the profit we've already made from selling this stuff, we also did that trade with Dean, our handyman that I was telling you guys about earlier. He had that little pile of stuff. We actually added some more things to his pile for him to do more work for us. He ended up buying all the wood and materials to complete our stairs up to our frog over the garage. He built the actual stairs for us. He tackled a couple other projects around the house and he tackled a project at our rental property. And he did all that for the DeWalt chop saw that was worth about $250, $300. He got the Kohler toilet that was new in the box and a couple other smaller tools. So we probably traded him maybe $500, $600 in items from the storage unit for probably about $1,000 worth of labor and materials. So if you add that to the equation, we're over $1,000 in profit right now between actual profit and money saved. I will also add here that if you're thinking about buying one of these abandoned storage units for yourself, please do not underestimate how much work is involved in these things. This is not something you can just go and knock out in a few hours. Haley and I probably have 30 to 40 hours like total combined into this storage unit from driving to go get it, unloading it, driving back, unloading it, taking the truck back, processing everything. I mean, it is just a huge, huge undertaking. So if we ever do it again in the future, if you guys are interested in that, definitely drop a comment down below and let us know. But if we do it again, we are definitely gonna hire at least two other people to come with us just to make managing the workload a little bit easier. But with all that said, I think that'll do it for our first ever abandoned storage unit video. If you guys have watched it and enjoyed it, definitely hit that like button down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below as well. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best. We will catch you on the next one.